Hi, and welcome to another YouTube video where today I'll be talking about getting recruited to play college sports, my experience with that, and a few specifics on making videos, choosing the right website, and a few other tips and tricks. Let's go. First off, I want to start by saying that I was recruited to play Division 3 and 2 college volleyball at a variety of different schools. I was also playing overseas in the Middle East, so that kind of influenced where I was looking as well as the amount of gameplay footage I was able to access. First off, we're gonna talk about some of the division differences. First up, you have the NCAA. They have three different divisions, division one, two, and division three. We're gonna get into the differences between the three of them in just a sec. The other major college sport organization is the NAIA. Their sports aren't as serious as the NCAA, however, they still give out athletic scholarships to varsity athletes. NCAA Division I sports are regarded as some of the top tier sports in the nation, some of the biggest public schools, as well as some of the biggest private schools, carry NCAA Division I sports through volleyball, through football, basketball are the two main ones, as well as a host of other different sports. Division two is a step down from division one. However, they play all the division one schools. Some schools are just as good as division one schools. However, it comes down to the money that the school can put into that program. Now, division three comes down to athletic scholarships. Now with division three schools, they cannot give out athletic scholarships as their students are mainly there for academic reasons. In that case, a lot of money is given out in academic merit scholarships like I was given to a few of my schools. It just makes sure that the emphasis is put on the academics rather than the athletic side of being a student athlete. Some of the schools are also smaller and can't put as much money into their programs. However, the student athletes are just as good or even better than some division two schools. Now that we've gotten the three different divisions out of the way, let's move on to picking the right recruiting website. What I used was NCSA, the next college student athlete website and they helped me all throughout my recruiting process. They were really great. This is not a sponsored ad at all. I'm just saying what my experience was like and which website I used. Here you can see my homepage lined up with the progress that I have with each school, as well as different modules for different players that are also looking at the same schools I am, as well as schools that are looking for positions. I can also see how many views, follows, message opens, and searches that have been attributed to me and my page from a variety of different coaches around the country. This page is your profile summary, where it shows you a summary of everything that you have on your profile from your GPA to everything that you need to get done. You can also preview your profile and everything on it. The next page is the My Colleges page, where you can see all the colleges that have looked you up or that you have favorited. And after your first video evaluation, you can check the match that they have with you and your skill level. The next page that I wanna show you guys is where you can look up universities. You can set your preferences to the region of the United States that you wanna to go to, as well as the academic rigor and how prestigious that program is. The last page that I wanna show you guys is the messages page. Now this one is one of the most important pages that you will ever come across in your life if you wanna become a college athlete. This is where coaches contact you to set up dates so that you can call. This is where you meet with your advisor to set up calls as well. And this is where you get all your camp invites and other messages like that. Now on to making a video for your profile. There are two main types of video that you can put together to show off your skills. First is a gameplay footage and the other is a skills video. The gameplay video, you wanna show everything that you show in a skills video and you wanna highlight some good plays that you've made as well as the competition that you're playing against. You wanna make sure that they're good as well. In the video, you wanna show off your hitting, your serving, blocking, passing, digging, setting, everything that you possibly can to give coaches the best picture they have of you. I'll attach the links to my skills video down below. They're unlisted, so this is the only video where you can access this from. I also put a card in the top right-hand corner of the screen so that you can click on it there as well. I'll show us a few clips of what I had in my video right now.
after you put together your stats, your preferences, and now your video, you might be starting to get some messages and some coaches might wanna start calling you to talk about their program and how you will fit into it. During these calls, they're gonna talk about what you are looking for. They're gonna talk about what their program is looking for, what their college is looking for, and making sure that it's the right fit, that the academics are up to par to your standards, as well as athlete benefits that the college offers you. I know that's a big incentive for some of you guys, like backpacks, school gear, stuff like that. They'll definitely talk about that. However, keep in mind, the initial calls will mostly be about you and your skill set and what you can offer the university. The next couple calls will be more casual as you get to know the coach and they'll start talking about what their university can offer you as well as some of the athlete benefits that come with joining their program. If you have impressed the coach during your calls, you might get a camp invite to one of their special camps for their recruits or a summer camp or any of those types of camps. These camps are a great opportunity for coaches to see players firsthand and for you to show off your skills. Football, basketball, volleyball, it does not matter. You're there to show off your skills and what you can do in front of the coaches. Some other great ways of getting in front of coaches are junior national tournaments for volleyball and AAU tournaments, as well as AAU competitions in your local area. Talking about my experience with calls, I had calls from Bard, Lawrence Technological University, Stevens Institute of Technology, Wilkes University, Springfield College, NYU, and MIT. I love talking with each of the coaches about the recruiting process and what I could offer them and what they could offer me in terms of athlete benefits. I also had a call with Drew University in Madison, New Jersey, and I believe that one was the one I got furthest with. I actually ended up applying there. You can check out my thoughts about applying to Drew in my previous video. Drew was a first year program that they were starting up and I was going to be their setter. However, I got into UC Berkeley and it's pretty obvious why I would choose the number one school in the nation. Now, with being educated overseas and playing volleyball overseas in international high schools as well as American high schools, I had to show off crazy screaming. I had to show off my skills through mainly skills videos because the competition wasn't so great as well as I started doing Zoom calls with coaches before Zoom calls were popularized by the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, there was also a lack of good club teams in Saudi and Dubai. However, I did train with a Serbian club in Dubai, which was really fun, and I got a lot of footage there. Like I said, you can check out my skills videos in the links below, as well as the cards if you went back there previously. Before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, me and my parents were gonna go on an East Coast tour of all the schools that just so happened to be in between. I'll put the map on the screen right now. And if you have the time to do this over spring break or any sort of long weekend, I highly recommend you do a similar trip around your local area or in regions that are very popular for your sport as this can get you on campus. You can get a feel for the campus. The coaches might actually offer you time to practice with the current team and you just get to meet the coach face to face as well as get to see a bit of the country. That's it for this video. I hope you guys learned a bit about my experience with college recruiting as well as learning a bit about how you can get in front of coaches and become a college athlete. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this content and want to see more of it. I'll see you later. Peace.